happy, happy birthday. We're so glad you came. We wish it was your birthday so we could say the same. Bop. What's up, it's Chanel, and welcome to the third year anniversary of Vital Vital And today we're gonna to be blasting hollowed idols, morbid ascendancy on Rotted Life Records. So fucking good, and still so fucking good. I have to thank Rotted Life Records for supporting this channel, alongside a fuckload of other individuals, record labels, you folks at home, most importantly, are the reason that this channel exists in the realms of the internet, in your minds, on your phone screens, computer, TV, what fucking ever you watch this on, thank you. You fucking rule, seriously. And I wanna thank a lot of individuals, but I don't have enough time to thank everyone. So, first off, thank you. Watching this right now. Anyone watching this, even if you hate me. Thanks for watching, and thanks for the hate. It just makes me more motivated to put out good content. And for me, good content is just not spitting all over the screen, which I do apologize because I've knocked quite a few teeth out riding bikes, and some are fake, and it causes me to spit a lot. It happens. It's not my fault. I apologize. But, anyways, Hollowed Idols are fucking amazing, and Morbid Ascendancy is one of those demos slash EPs that I felt was, like, in top running last year when it came to one of the best demos of the year but now I barely hear anyone talk about this band so here's a reminder hollowed idols fucking rule but first off I want to thank James at Transylvania Tapes because without James and his insane discography of analog atrocities I have two tapes here from the first batch of Transylvania tapes that he sent me that really, really had a big impact on the future of this channel and just my brain in general. And we'll start off with Kofa, Mental Enslavement. First off, fuck yeah, killer, killer. Filthy death metal from the bay. Awesome artwork. And this was kind of my introduction outside of like Vastum of all of these up and coming bands from the Bay Area and shit working their way upwards and whatnot and just slaying the fucking underground demo scene especially but I also started seeing a lot more names when it came to band sharing members like Chad Gailey played drums on this release Chad is currently the drummer of fucking Mortuous Necrot and now Vastum so Fuck yeah, this is awesome. And now James is in fucking a Vulse, Swamp Witch still. James is one of those individuals that he's so talented, it's just awesome. Like, I love everything he's done from Circle of Eyes to fucking Swamp Witch. James is the man, and I always loved Kaufa and always loved Mental Enslavement. Hopefully the coffin is not closed on Kaufa, but you never know. But I do know right here, this introduced me to a world of death ooze. 
And that's Dippy Gus with Long Pig Feast. Transylvania Tapes. Greg Wilkinson first captured this in Oakland, California. And then it was identified by Dan Randall at Mammoth Sound and exhibited in North America by Transylvania Tapes. I think that's fucking so awesome and just a great, great release right here by a band that no one knew was going to absolutely make a fucking grand slam debut full length in 2019 on Expansion Abyss Records that is Death Ooze. Check out my review of it and also check out that whole record in general. Holy shit. But Long Pig Feast by Dippy Gus was my introduction. Then the band was nice enough to send me over their original demo. And from there, wow. Then, I'm jumping around in timelines, but I have to thank a record label named Agro Mosh Productions. I do not know the guy's name off the top of my head. But I remember being asked, hey, do you like grind and power violence? And I'm like, fucking A, yeah. And he's like, dude, do you want to review this seven inch? So I, of course, was like, yes, that sounds like a fucking great idea. I, you know, never at the time, never had gotten a package sent to me in the mail like that. And this was that first package. Gnarly Death on one side, and Flux Capacitor on the other. And this Agro Mosh Productions release just was so fucking good and still is a fun listen. Gnarly Death with the Power Violence and Flux Capacitor with some killer killer grind. You create your own reality. Never be a docile slave, grindcore, and free living until radical change. Awesome, awesome split here. And again, this just really, really got me going down smaller labels, rabbit holes, and checking out what they were releasing and whatnot. And next thing you know, I'm talking to other people on YouTube and finding about more and more bands and shit's getting gnarlier and gnarlier and I'm just loving it. Like, so I go to this festival slash show in 2015 called Choosing Death Fest and I had mentioned how good at the time and still Horrendous, they had a new flexi disc out in Decibel. And I had yet to pick up Anaretta on vinyl. So I remember going over to their merch table and the Pissgrave guys were there and they were like, you're Adam, right? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, yo, thanks for, you know, mentioning us on the your channel, etc., etc." Because I had mentioned how much I fucking loved Suicide Euphoria. And same goes for Horrendous. I was mentioning how good the 7 inch was and how much I wanted a copy of Anaretta. I was lucky as I'm pretty sure I snagged their last vinyl copy they had at the time. But I remember this just completely sent me on a horrendous spending spree as after I got Anaretta on vinyl I got the chills literally and then I ended up getting Asidious and as the years went on I got to see Horrendous live tons of times and getting to see them play their new material it's just wow one of the best, at the moment, in my opinion, progressive death metal bands in the game. But to me, it all started with Anaretta. You might say it started with Asidious, but Asidious still has a lot 
of dismember influence where here I felt like death human was pretty much the main inspiration but like on steroids it was just an amazing listen and I always loved this photo right here because this is when horrendous was a trio and Damien I'm pretty sure played bass when I saw them the first time live and Matt played guitar but in this photo it looks like there is no bass and it's just both Matt and Damien which would never work today unless horrendous only played older songs but I remember seeing Damien's kicks and just being so stoked and right here is just another amazing live photo Damien and Matt if you've ever seen horrendous live then you know that this photo is fucking awesome as horrendous in a live setting are just in my opinion one of the best fucking bands in death metal and also this gentleman with the Morbus Kron shirt awesome speaking of Morbus Kron I also have to thank Jesus at Misako on Unjo Records not only for one time sending me a 40 pound package just for being a nice guy but for releasing some of the best fucking underground slabs of death metal on vinyl and cassette. MSUO are one of my favorite record labels and I have to thank Jesus for opening my eyes and ears to so many bands and just by releasing so much stuff that I might have missed out on otherwise. Like this Mass Extinction Gutless LP. Now you might be like, wait a minute, Maggot Stomp put that out. Well, on vinyl, no. MSUO put this out. Maggot Stomp, I think, had a few copies. And I know Dark Descent had a few copies as well. But that's a tale for a different day. There's two more folks I want to thank and bands and whatnot. This all goes under one umbrella here, but Dark Descent Records, Matt, Blood Incantation, everyone in Blood Incantation, Spectral Voice, and everyone in Spectral Voice, including Casey. Okay, I'm counting Casey in here because you're the fucking man. But after I reviewed Star Spawn, got to meet Blood Incantation for the first time when they played Philadelphia with Nucleus, Outer Heaven, Morose, and just absolutely desecrated the place. I think Outer Heaven played too. Outer Heaven did play. But I got a random package a few months down the road with the Spectral Voice, Blood Incantation, Split 7-inch, a bunch of other fucking gnarly releases, a red copy of Star Spawn, and just tons of other personalized goodies. And I was just beyond grateful that anyone would send me something this gnarly. And yes, I actually got yelled at by viewers of this channel back in the day when I hung the poster up that comes with the 7 inch they were like don't you know what you did I was like yeah I hung up a poster of two bands I love and respect it's my 7 inch wait you listen to this yes I listen to this a lot and I fucking love slowly claimed by oblivion it's one of my favorite spectral voice songs so, thank you so fucking much. And lastly, the whole entire Salem, Oregon, Grim Abyss connection. This also is going to add in ALN and MSW, but P Perthro and Vathar, you guys fucking rule. And all you at home, thanks so much for making this three years of madness 
Hells. <laughs>